The Director General, Industrial Training Fund, Joseph Ari, says plans are on the way to convert the agency's skills training centers in Kano, Kogi, Abuja, and Plateau, as well as the vocational wings attached to its area offices to hubs for innovation and entrepreneurship. He said this in Abuja at the third annual global meeting of the Forum for Innovation in African Universities with the team strengthening Africa's higher education in a post-COVID-19 world. The ITF boss who noted that the agency has been at the forefront of innovation in Nigeria since its establishment, said with the conversion of the skills training centers, schools and other stakeholders could use the facilities as incubation centers and vehicle for innovation and creativity. that the direction that the ITF is willing to take to ensure that innovation and creativity are institutionalized and entrenched in our education system is something that we have become. Our experience over the years has also shown that more can be achieved with greater collaboration and synergy. And that is why, on a final note, the ITF has gone into this partnership with the Nigeria Employers Consultative Association, with the Spedan, with the Bank of Industry, with a view to working as a team and arriving at a common ground. Stakeholders from the higher education sector and the representative of a German skills firm took turns to speak. We know that education is and will continue to be the foundation of a strong and uh, prosperous society as we have been told. Education will continue to be at the heart of our opportunities, whether as individuals, whether as family units, whether as communities or nations. Education will always be at the heart of our opportunities. And our life choices will always gravitate around our educational investment and exposure. Equipping young people with the right mindset and skills needed to be either self-employed, or become a valuable employee in any organization. Key partners for the one-day engagement are the Industrial Training Fund, the Forum for Innovation in Africa Universities, and a German skills firm, Rode and Shawa, CNN News.